Welcome back, video game collectors. Oh, we're doing hands? We're doing hands. I fucking usually do uh, that. It's <laughs> my job. I know. This episode here, uh, we actually did one last year. We and these are games did. that I'm going to be on the hunt for this year in 2021. 2021. Um, I want to go through real quick what I had on my list for 2020. Mm-hmm. And I did not get them all. I'm going to blame COVID. I'm going to blame COVID, too. We're blame, everything's getting blamed on COVID, so I'm blaming this on COVID, too. Yeah. So Do I you know why I didn't get the laundry done yesterday? COVID? Yeah. Damn, COVID. I know. It keeps me from getting all my... I, but I did play games yesterday, but... Laundry was COVID's fault. All right, so if you hadn't, if you haven't seen the video from last year on my uh, games that were on the hunt for, I don't we even know what the right, what was the title? Do you remember? Something about games yeah. we wanted in 2020. Yeah. I will leave a link in the <laughs> description. But I'm gonna name off the games that I got first. There are a few that I wasn't able to find. First of all, we have Pirates Plunder on the Wii, Ninja Crusaders on the NES. And we have some original Xbox games. Uh, Outrun 2, Curse the Eye of Isis, Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Green, Double Dragon, Streets of Rage 3, I ended up getting a loose copy of it finally. And uh, I had a console on my list, which was the Dreamcast. Now, we had it listed for $120. That was the price charting guide, and we did not pay $120. We paid 50 yeah. with a controller and it was not yellowed. Canadian. Canadian. What? Yeah. Maybe we can show a picture of it. It's in really nice it shape. It is in really nice shape. The controller was in really nice shape. And this shape. was actually at a, a pawn shop, like almost a retail, yeah. you know, retro video game store. Kind of so the like. ones I was not able to get on my list, uh, I will say again, Beam Rider for the Atari. Hyperstone Heist, TMNT, TMNT. on the uh, Sega Genesis. So Splatterhouse 2 and 3. 2 and 3. And then the final game I was not able to find was Mega Man number 1 on the NES. Yes. So now that that's out of the way, I have actually 15 games on my list. And we're going to start off from the uh, least expensive to the most expensive. I'm going to rip them out quick. I think we, no I think we Pop just... Pop up a little bit of gameplay. A little bit Not of gameplay much. or like an overlay of the game and some information, but I just think we named the first three all together. All together, because it's all, NES. And I think they were all recommendations. Uh, two of them were recommended by Captain Algebra. Fans of Captain Algebra will not be shocked by the first one was Back to the Future on the NES. Yes, and I don't care if you hate it, I'm going to get it and I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Because he mentioned now, we might like it. The second one I watched him play on a live stream, and I'm like, damn, that looks like a fun yes. game. I want to get it, is Heavy Barrel. Yep. And I want to play that one. I think it's co-op. Ooh. It'd be really cool. That would be very cool. And the third NES game uh, was recommended by Phil, and it's The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. And Don't he's make like, fun of me. Yeah, Apparently he said, it's really good. He said, I know you're going to think it's stupid, but trust me, it's a good game. And they all come in relatively cheap on this list. Uh, Back to the Future. Some of them are expensive. So these were the cheapest ones. Back to the Future, five yeah. bucks. Little Little Mermaid, 15 bucks. And Heavy Barrel, 20 bucks. Canadian. This is Canadian dollars. And but I'm going to tell will, you right now. We will put the conversion rate for you I've up on the I've been screen. looking for these games. And Back to the Future is about 15 bucks on eBay. These are my uh, estimated eBay prices. Yeah. So... I haven't. That's why I haven't bought them yet. Little Mermaid is running about twenty-five, and Heavy Barrel typically runs about forty-five. That's crazy. <clears throat> that's yeah. crazy. What the price charting Canadian guide says versus what eBay yeah. will command. Yeah. Sometimes I guess. they'll just rip you off on shipping, right? <sighs> that's the problem. Number. Having just shipped games, we know it doesn't cost that much. So well, exactly. You lying. You lying. So number four on my list is Psychonauts for the original Xbox. And so many people have said such great things about it, and we've yep. watched some gameplay on this. Looks like a it fun looks game. Looks like a fun game, and you might not know, but they are in development for Psychonauts too. Yes. They so are. if you have not grabbed this game yet, you might want to get you it because it may go up in price. 
But let us have one first. Mm, please. please. Number five on my list, and Jen didn't write the console on it, but I know what it goes to, is <laughs> Contra 4 on the DS. Do you see that little bracket oh, beside it end. that says DS? Oh, we have the end. <laughs> I did write it on. All right. My husband's blind. So Contra 4 on the DS comes in around $45. That's pretty much, if I can find one in Canada uh, on eBay that has free shipping, that's right about where it comes in. The next one, <laughs> Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. You have it listed as $55. I will tell you right now, that's this is said. also a DS game. Yeah. I will tell you right now, I've been looking for probably three or four months, and there's no way I could have, if I could have got that for 55 bucks, I would have grabbed it by now. Yeah. The next one is also a DS game, and it is Metal Slug number seven. Number seven. It comes in around sixty bucks. It does, and I, you know what? I think this list has a lot more handhelds than our last one did. I don't think our last one yeah. had any handhelds on it. Well, this year I got myself a 2DS XL. That was another notable item not on our list that we ended up picking up because Scott really wanted one and I'm telling you, they were almost equivalent price, like maybe a little bit less at the pawn shop. So I'm like, let's just get one brand new. Coming in at number eight, we have another original Xbox game, mm -hmm. Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame. Really like Fatal Frame. And when you put I this have, on the list, I was uh, like, don't we have those? We have, I have all three of them on uh, PS2. Yes, we did. And I did get you one for a birthday. Yeah. Or Christmas, and I spent too much on it. Yeah, you won't pay. No, I didn't know much about that. Eh. But I loved you all. It happens. Time. Coming in at number nine. Number nine. Can you pronounce this name? If I could see it. <laughs> Ikaruga. Oh, I knew Ikaruga. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ikaruga on the GameCube. That's what I'm looking for. A complete copy of that. It does... I Now... I'm not sure, but it was originally on the Dreamcast, but I think it only is a Japanese version. Oh, You can okay. actually pick up, um, I don't know if it was a limited run game version or not, but I think you can get it on the Switch and possibly the PS4, but the Switch for sure. Oh, that's cool. Yep. But of course you want it on GameCube. Uh, the GameCube one is the cheapest one. The GameCube one's the cheapest one, which is not true. Any other day of the week for any other GameCube game. True. Yeah, that's true. GameCube games have skyrocketed over the last, mm -hmm. especially year. Yes, they have. Now we're up to number 10. Number, number 10, 10, I have Dino Crisis 2, a PS1 game. Yep, yeah, and that was another one I called a man on. I was like, wait, 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 we have that. We do have Dino Crisis, but we nope. don't have number 2. Nope. nope. We had to get it. We have to get I it. I want to get it. We want to get it. We'll now, see if we can get it. I had, we did see it earlier this summer when we went to PEI, but they wanted $90 for it. They demand <clears throat> big prices over there, but they've got two yeah, pawn shops. Uh, I now, I did not know exactly what everything was going for at the time. Yeah. And I was hoping to get it cheaper than that. Mm -hmm. But now I'm looking, well, eBay, you know what eBay's like. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, I think we'll be really hard pressed to get that for under 90. Yeah. On eBay especially. I know. Uh, don't think I've ever seen one in town here. I know, I don't think I've nope. seen one either, so. The next one, number 11, is also another PS1 game. It is Legend of Mana. Yeah, Mana, Mana. Mana, Mana. Depending on who you are, potato, <laughs> potato, whatever. Also have it down as $75. I will tell you right now, if you can get that for 90, I will be shocked. I know. So let's go on to the next game. Yeah. Number 12, Fatal Frame number two Fatal on the Frame original Xbox. Yeah. Big into my Xbox. I have them all on the PS2. No. I hear a lot of people tell me that they actually look better on the original Xbox. Really? Um, throw it in the comments. Tell me what you think. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm just, really really liking the original xbox the more games i play yeah. on it the more i love it and the more i want to collect for it so. i know and the guys the fatal frame series is super cool ah, so creepy cool. creepy ghosts yeah. oh it's awesome i remember watching oh, you play through it and it, i enjoyed cool. that 
Number 13 is one that I feel is like my next Castlevania Symphony of the Night kind of game. Yes. Strider number two on the PS1. And I say that because I look at the gameplay of it and I'm like, oh, that looks like it's yeah. fun. That looks like a game. I really want to play that game. Um, I actually haven't played it. I've never touched that game. I've seen gameplay on it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments there. Is this game yeah. worth playing? Yeah. Is it worth buying? Yeah. Is it worth buying? Is it worth <laughs> it, it at the price? It... Nah, it did. That's the thing there. Like, you can ask everybody there. Is it worth it at that price? And depending on what people are willing to spend, some people exactly. say yes, other people, hell no. Exactly, because what is valuable to you or what is worth it to you is not the same as it is to somebody else. That's true of anything. Like, yeah. am I gonna spend $100 on a manicure? No. But will I spend $100 on a video game? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, just get more who out I, of a, it's just more who out I of a am. video game. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, just who we are, so you, nothing wrong with either one, just what you enjoy. Number 14? Number 14, Order of... Of Ecclesia. 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 Yeah. For the DS. Yeah. For the Castlevania mm -hmm. game. Um, I have, I only have one of the Castlevania. I think there are three on the DS. I'd like yes. to get them all. Um, this is the most expensive one. Yep. And those last games, is this the last game in the series of it? I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. Not 100% sure, yeah. but most times those last games tend to tend be, to be the most expensive yeah. because they See, were I never, later releases. I didn't, I didn't own a DS back when the DS was out, no. so I missed it on all these titles. I know. All these and titles now, you could have got for a lot cheaper. Now, yeah, now I, I, I want to go back and I want to collect them and I want to play yeah. them. I want to try them. I see gameplay of them and I'm like, oh, I want to try that. The last game on my list. Last game is a doozy and a half. You guys heard that we got Teen Titans this year. Yep. This is the equivalent Futurama. Xbox. Futurama on the original Xbox. For whatever reason, it is ridiculous. Oh my god. You have it in at $175. Yeah. Canadian. Canadian, yeah. The only other game that I can think of on the original Xbox that might be more would be the Outrun 2006. 2006. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. But that might even be cheaper than this. It might be. And in saying that, I am shocked that Outrun 2006 wasn't on your list. I thought it was going to be on your list. Yeah, well, it might be on next year's list. Yeah. I, like, seriously, when you didn't add it, yeah. I, I kind of thought about it. I Did was like, Jen, I could have had two lists. I could have had two lists. I, I know. Really, I know. You know. It is what it is. Now, the only other thing, like last year, I threw a console in there that I wanted to collect for, uh, and I got it was Dreamcast. Yes. This year we're looking at more like a, a Mega Drive for possibly the NES. Yes, and the reason why is I have not given a list of games I'm going to complete this year or a number, but I did notice last year I played a lot of PS4, PS4 titles or PS3s, later gen console yeah. games. I want to go more retro this year to stay more true to our channel name. Yeah. And so I did start the year out playing Adventure Island. And I'm telling you, it's more like Devil's Island. That shit is Devil's hard. Devil's Island! Exactly. I am all like, oh, guys. Mm, right there. I'm right there. I'm almost You're done the eight game. Eight two? Eight two. Yeah. It is the hardest we're, effing we're level. Eight level two. And, <gasps> and there's eight, eight worlds. Four levels each world. And it's taken you, what, like four, six hours or something there to get to that point and you're just like, you're just stuck for I get, hour. I get closer every time. I get That's closer every time. That's the thing and then I keep telling her, I'm like, this is just part of the process. But, you know, like, if you want to play it on the original hardware. I do want to play it on the is, original hardware. In the is comments, that cheating? Is it a cop out? Oh, I think some of the purists would definitely say that it's a cheat or a cop out because you, get, you have a save state. Now, the reason why, there are some games like Rygar that are, you, uh, I think it's like a freaking eight hour game there. Like oh. You can sit there and try to play it for eight hours. That's the problem. Those Nintendo games are so difficult. Some of them are so difficult. And I don't know what you guys would consider the most difficult game on the Nintendo now, list, but Adventure Island has to rank up there. Some of those old I know cartridges, does too, like, but... my, like Zeldas and stuff like that, like the RPG stuff. The batteries, I don't know if those batteries are all still working. At any point, you can lose your save. You can. So uh, that's probably the biggest reason why I'd like to have a Mega Drive. Mega Drive yeah. So you can have that save state. Yeah. So. It's, it, it would be a good addition 
to get in more to our retro games without feeling like, well, I don't have yeah, the amount of time I'd like to. I eight hours to crunch this game. Time. Exactly, no. and working as much as we do and being involved in the YouTube community as much as we yeah. try to be, it's hard to dedicate that time like you want to in one sitting. That's the problem. Oh, a Nintendo yeah. is a one sitting situation, yeah. and it's tough to get through it in one sitting. Mm -hmm. We're no Captain Algebra. <laughs> we need more than one sitting. You yeah. can't do this shit on a live stream. I need nobody to talk, breathe, look at me. I can't look at a live stream chat and play a game. No! Are you crazy? No! <laughs> You're like the king. We can't do it. <laughs> it is what it is. Wish me luck. Keep all your fingers crossed. And hopefully I can complete this list. And maybe even grab the ones that I missed on last year's list. Maybe. Until next time, keep collecting, keep gaming. And, and game on. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, I finished mine. What the fuck? Finish your cough syrup like a big boy. You'll sleep so good tonight. There you go. Is now you're a completionist.